An aphrodisiac is anything that stimulates excitement, especially of the romantic variety. And I can't think of anything else that gets me more randy than snails, ugly fish, and smelly desserts. The whole easy, one-step, cheapo, date night Valentine's Day videos have been done many times, right? They're pretty much a dime a dozen. But none of those creators have your back like I do, because by the end of this video, you'll be cooking like you've been possessed by Cupid. We're gonna make a three-course romantic dinner with a focus on using ingredients that are 1,000% scientifically proven to get your love juices flowing. That's a lie, but we're gonna have fun today. The season of love is upon us. Let's cook. This little spiky ball of stank is a durian. Let's cut it open. Durian is very popular in Southeast Asia. <laughs> you can already smell it. That is a durian, baby. So is that. I'm gonna do that to all the pots. I'm gonna stand over here. <laughs> Durian is known for its sweet, creamy, unique tasting qualities, and those who grew up with it pretty much always insist that it's the best fruit out there. All right, so we have our little cream pods here. This is literally like custard. It's like cheese. It's like stinky cheese fruit. And I have to do it. All right, okay. The reproductive system of the durian. Fun fact, the stench of a durian is so powerful that there are actually laws that restrict the places that you can bring durian in certain countries. I'm making a dessert with the durian called granita, which is actually the Italian word for granite. It's a frozen fruity dessert that takes some time to freeze, which is the reason why we're starting with it first. A granita is simply a fruit puree that's been laced with sugar, acid, usually in the form of citrus juice, and water. It's literally that simple. I've chosen to use lime and the zest of a lime to sort of go with a Southeast Asian vibe here. To a food processor, add four cups of durian with the seeds removed, a half cup of water, a quarter cup lime juice, and quarter cup of sugar. Pop the lid on and blitz everything up until you have a nice, smooth puree. Stinky fruit cream. Pour the mixture into a shallow dish and disperse it evenly until the puree is roughly half an inch up the walls of the dish. The more surface area, the quicker this thing's gonna freeze. Pop the whole dish uncovered in the freezer, then for every 30 minutes, for about three to four hours, scrape the puree with a fork to form little ice shards. Okay, while that's freezing, let's go ahead and start working on our snails, aka escargot. Escargot is a famous French dish consisting of a delicious herbed compound butter and snails. Yes, snails, which are actually pretty easy to find, believe it or not. I got these at Whole Foods, but you can get these online. Just grab the canned variety unless you have access to fresh snails, which would be chill too. To make the snail butter, to a food processor, add a stick of room temperature unsalted butter, one tablespoon of minced shallot, three cloves of minced garlic, a half cup of chopped parsley, then pop the lid on and stream in about two tablespoons of dry white wine. In France, land snails are gathered during the summer and fasted to clear out their systems before being thoroughly washed and simmered until tender. I'm grabbing a little cutely gratin baking dish and laying in some salt because we are going to need to stabilize our snail shells. These things are the snail shells that I'm talking about. They're pretty, they look like you found them on the beach, but you didn't, I bought these online. Start by piping the butter into the empty shell, then stuff the snail in and pipe more butter on top, sandwiching the snail in between. And really don't skimp on the butter here. You want the snails swimming in the butter. Simply bake the snails off for 12 minutes at 425 Fahrenheit and serve with a crusty baguette. This part is not optional. Lastly for the main course is pistachio encrusted monkfish. Proven to increase blood flow in certain areas for males. And when I say proven, that's just, it's not actually proven. Toasting your nuts and seeds before working with them helps to coax out their natural aroma and flavor, so that's what I'm doing here. Pour two cups of pistachios and two teaspoons each of cumin and coriander seed onto a foiled tray and toast in a 300 degree Fahrenheit oven for six to eight minutes or until aromatic and toasted. Once roasty toasty, blitz the nut and seed mixture in a blender or if you have one, a trusty little spice grinder like me, you can also use a mortar and pestle, whatever works, just get it done. You want the mixture fine because we are encrusting our fish with it. This is the tail of a monkfish. One of the, if not the, gnarliest looking fish in the sea. <laughs> Gnarliest, perhaps, but also one of the tastiest in my opinion. This fish is known as poor man's lobster because it sort of kind of resembles the texture of lobster when cooked. It's mild, it's meaty, it's delicious, you're gonna love it. I'm laying the fish in a simple dry, wet, dry station of all-purpose flour, egg wash, and our spiced pistachio crumble. Then it's into a half inch of oil to shallow fry until each side is crispy. If your fish is on the meatier side like these tails, you can go ahead and pop these on a wire rack and slide them into a low oven just until they cook through and finish. Fish is always a nice main 
main course for date night. It's not too heavy, it doesn't mess with your tum too much, and it leaves plenty of room for other things. By now I've scraped the granita a few times and we should be G to G. Oh yeah. That's a granita. Once all the puree is frozen and scraped up, when ready to serve, transfer it to a nice dish, or if you're feeling lavish, into a martini glass. And that green stuff is pandan flavored whipped cream that I made earlier, and I'm finishing with lime zest and chili flake. All right, three course meal down. Let's see if these aphrodisiacs actually work. The finest year. <laughs> Cheese, babe. <laughs> Let's eat snails. Okay. The first course is, of course, our escargot, our French snails. The easiest way to do this is to kind of pry them out with a toothpick and pop them on bread. Cheers, lover. Mm -hmm. I can't front, we eat snails regularly, so this isn't that weird for us. Regularly, not regularly. Like, once a year? Twice a year? We've had it about five times in the last, <laughs> in the last month. Next is our main course of pistachio encrusted mm. monkfish. The aphrodisiac in this one is pistachio, which is said to increase blood flow in men. Mm, below honey. the belt. You're supposed to be feeding me. Oh, I would love to. Mmm. <laughs> taste? Yes, taste. I drop everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> My date has no manners. <laughs> mm. Wait, so it's just the pistachios, not the monkfish no. that makes you horny? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the pistachio. Hey, right, why are you still eating? Cause it's... What about me? I'm feeling the increased blood flow. <laughs> I'm exhilarated by it. Mm, let's palate cleanse. To your love. Mm. And for dessert. Durian granita. <laughs> with pandan whipped cream. It's very creamy. That's how I feel. The thing about durian, everybody freaks out of how stinky and gross and gnarly it is. It's not. It definitely is still an acquired taste. I don't think it's as good as people say, oh, it's the best fruit ever, but it has a weird taste. I think it's a good fruit. It's not my personal favorite, but it's also not nearly as bad as everybody says it is. True. You know, like I might even just do this. Just to like really just drill into my, into my brain, so. I know. The whipped cream is good. Mm -hmm. Yo, it's not bad. The more you eat it. <laughs> so after after you just pounded three pretty pretty big common aphrodisiacs, how do you feel? Excitable. <laughs> Why? I feel great. Looks good on you. No matter what you're into, who you like, or where you come from, I think we can all agree that a delicious meal is conducive to happiness, and a happy person is easier to love. That is my hallmark anecdote for you today. I'm just gonna leave it at that. We're gonna stop things before it gets too bad. I hope your Valentine's Day is spent with the person slash people that you love. It's full of lots of hugs, lots of smooches, and not too much candy that's shaped like a heart and tastes like chalk. Be sure to follow me over on the gram and TikTok, and I will see you lovebirds next time. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> 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 <laughs>